Y'all read the title. I'm finna bust. Ed Boone. Let me tell y'all something about this man. Besides the fact that I love him, this man is one of the main people responsible for the Injustice video games as well as Mortal Kombat as a whole. If it wasn't for this man, Scorpion wouldn't even exist. Do you feel me? God damn, he's the voice behind the iconic line, GET OVER HERE, MOTHER F but like, without the profanity, you know? And if you ever doubt me, just ask yourself why they put Injustice Joker in Mortal Kombat 11. And why they put Scorpion Sub-Zero in Raiden in Injustice 1 and 2. Yeah, they got the same creators up in the studio with Netherrealm. Now, I don't use my Twitter often, but when I do, I usually just watch Mandem and Yaldem take part in the Royale Rumble. I be watching people beat the hell out of each other in these street fights. Am I allowed to say this on YouTube? I'm not advocating for these people. I just find it entertaining. And why do white people somehow unlock the N-word while fighting black people? They be saying it like they grew up in the same hood and attended cookouts on the regular. But anywho, when I saw this tweet, I done it a little bit. I'm excited as hell, but the only thing about this that pissed me off is the fact that when he was doing the Q&A, more people were asking about Mortal Kombat rather than Injustice, which kind of surprised me, I'm not gonna lie. So we didn't get too much information about what he plans to put in the game, besides a couple characters that'll be returning to the game, such as this big booty, uh, colossal titty, the spawn of Trigon, Raven. And I know they're gonna put Beast Boy in this game. Why is that, you ask? Take a look at Mortal Kombat. This man is Kotal Kahn. He had powers that are all related to the sun. It's been like this since Mortal Kombat X. But for some random reason, they let this man turn into a fucking panther in Mortal Kombat 11. That just sounds like they're testing assets to me. Have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? The free-to-play mobile game with over 80 million downloads already, as well as the sponsors of this video? Of course you have, because it's probably the most popular mobile game that's out right now. And there are plenty of reasons for that. One of which being the lore. Y'all know I love a good story with a fleshed out history, and Ray delivers on that highly due to the fact that there are over 700 playable champions within the game. So feel free to dive into all their backstories within this dark fantasy world. And though I love the lore, what keeps me playing is the action. Me personally, I'm in love with great boss fights and Raid has an entire gallery of them for you to fight through in each of these dungeons with all of your favorite characters. Some bosses may be trickier than others so you'll need to come up with a solid strategy to take them down. But if boss fights ain't your thing, you could always take your skill set into the high stakes pvp mode against other players raid already has a massive community on reddit and discord so you can get a team together for your missions and make some new friends along the way to assist you in taking down the bosses like the demon lord the hydra or whichever boss you choose to take down games are always fun when you can play them with friends especially when you can play them absolutely anywhere and raid lets you do as such and hey to jumpstart the new year, there's a new season of the Forge Pass for y'all to dive into, where you can earn in-game items, which includes a legendary champion and more. And since we're on the topic of champions, I'd like to inform y'all that there are a whole bunch of champions dropping this month as well, and I'm excited to play them all. And later on in the year is Raid's 4th anniversary, which is gonna bring along the humongous Titan event. This event in particular lasts for several weeks, and by competing in these special themed events, you will earn anniversary points. And with this, you can earn amazing rewards by taking part in this marathon event so you better not miss it now if you're like me and you always want to be the best at what you do you'll be glad to know that this game constantly keeps evolving with new events new champions and new dungeons to conquer it's a rewarding experience and i know you'll love it the whole way through especially since you can currently get the ronda rousey champion for free right now i'm talking about the same ronda rousey that's a former mma and pro wrestling champion all you've got to do is log on now and play raid for seven days between now and the 20th of February. And she's all yours. And this promo code right here, Raid Ronda, will give you a lot of helpful stuff. And it's available for both new and old players. Now I'm gonna help y'all out with a couple of things. If you want the best weekly rewards, go ahead and join a clan and do the boss fights together to maximize your potential earnings. It ain't gonna hurt to have a little bit of backup, my brothers and sisters. My personal opinion about this game is that I love the diversity. You're never forced to play a game one way or another. With a little bit of strategy and a mixed up team of damage dealers and tanks you could take over any dungeon you like and now since i know i've got you interested let me give y'all a sweet deal if you click my link in the description or scan my qr code on the screen you'll get unique bonuses worth 35 dollars which includes this free epic champion Jotun, as well as 100,000 silver 50 gems and two epic skill tones all this treasure will be waiting to be collected by you in the top right corner of the screen and it's available for 30 days for new players only and once you're in the game you can find me under the name of demigod 
And if you're fast enough, you can join my clan and we can go on a raid together. And thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I can tell they've been wanting to make a Justice 3 for a while, because goddamn, in Mortal Kombat 11, they even gave a Killer Croc skin to Baraka, a Harley Quinn skin to Cassie Cage, a Dark Side skin for Gears, and did I mention that they literally put the Joker in the game? Edward Bootholomew, with the odd chance that you somehow see this video, please. Pretty please make Red Hood a playable character again in Injustice 3. I don't care if I need to pay for it, you better put my man to the game. And don't make it Jason Peter Todd, but put my boy Jason Jermaine Todd under the Red Hood. Hire me. Let me prove myself. I do the voice lines, man, please. I've got plenty of videos on this channel of me voice acting lines. Playing the role of the Red Hooded Menace. Let Jason Todd be a black man, goddammit, just for the one time. Due to the passing of our beloved Kevin Conroy, what voice actor do y'all think they'll get to play Batman now? It sucks because Kevin perfected the character. Batman became even more of a legend because of him. I personally think they'll get Roger Craig Smith, and for those of you who aren't familiar with my man, he is the man who voices. Ezio Auditore da Firenze, as well as the Batman in Arkham Origins. And if it's not him, we all know they'll just pull out the old reliable Troy Baker to do the voice lines. I got no issues with Troy. I love that man so much. I just feel like he's overused. But he deserves to be. He's amazing at what he does. You better like and share the video, by the way, because I know where your auntie lives. Some changes I would like to personally see to within Injustice 3 is the removal of Deadshot and the return of Deathstroke. Yeah. Yeah, I know we all love that spam attacking culo de caca, but I'd rather have good old pedo stroke in the game, cause at least he could actually throw hands. He had some of the best gameplay in the first Injustice, with not only using his guns, but his sword too. He was like if you mix Damian Wayne's Robin with Deadshot, he was chef's kiss perfect. Now let's talk about the big question, the DLC guest characters. Who are they gonna add? I think I know. Ed Boon once said before that he wouldn't mind having Omni-Man as a guest character in Mortal Kombat, but this was after the DLC Mortal Kombat had been completed. So I'm willing to take a bet that one of the guest characters in Injustice 3 is going to be... Would this not be the perfect fit? Just imagine the voice lines between him and any of the female characters. Hell, maybe he'll even find a better girl in the DC universe than that toxic afro wasteland he's been f***ing. Go get with Vixen or something. And by the way, where the hell is season 2? I'm on your ass. Give it to me. Season 1 was so goddamn good. It filled me with so much excitement and joy so I will do anything. My bad y'all, I was finna get loud. But if there was any three things that I want right now, it's more information on this damn game. Your auntie to get the hell up out of my DMs. And for y'all to go download Raid Shadow Legends using my link in the description below. Help a brother out. Drop a like on this video and subscribe because I know I entertained you. Share this video with your homies so they can get in on a couple of laughs too. And I'll be seeing you. Take care. In peace. Baby, let me see some. Okay, too bad. Bitches, go away. Both ways. Woo! She gon' do it for these fans. She make it clap like how I do. Go for my hand. Fuck it up. Stick it up. Throw it back.